Hello, and thank you so much for joining me as I reflect on the coronation of King Charles III. I want to do that by looking at three of the symbols used in the coronation. The first of these is the royal robe. It's called the imperial mantle, and it will be a floor length, uh, embossed, embroidered, cloth of gold robe, fastened with a golden eagle clasp at the front, a magnificent sight. And as I think about that, I think about a very different robe given to the Lord Jesus. And it's found in Matthew's Gospel in chapter 27. And reading from verse 28, they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. Verse 31, when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. The Lord Jesus was on his way to the cross and he was given a robe not of majesty, but of mockery. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. They were mocking him, the one that Christians call the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He was going to the cross to pay the price for all the wrongdoing that you and I have ever done. In Isaiah chapter 64, 700 years before Jesus came to this earth, we read this. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a polluted garment. You see, even the very best things that you and I do, even the very best things that we uh, do for other people, are just like a polluted garment in the sight of God. Why? Because they're polluted by sin. Even the kindest, the most generous things that you and I have ever done are in themselves polluted by sin. And sin is all the wrong that we do, uh, either in thought or word or deed. We are sinful, separated from God because of our sin. And yet the God of love, the God of mercy, the God of grace has provided a way that you and I can be saved, that you and I can be made righteous. And righteousness means right standing in the sight of God, that we can have a right relationship with him. Let me read to you from 2 Corinthians and chapter 5. 2 Corinthians and chapter 5 and verse 21 says this, For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus Christ knew no sin. He was perfect. He was pure. And yet he was crucified in my place. The death that I deserve to die because of my sin, the Bible makes it very clear that the result of sin is death. The death that I deserve to die, he died, though he had done no wrong. And it was so that I might be made righteous. You see, the Lord Jesus was perfectly righteous. And yet he's made it possible for me to have that righteousness. And he's alive today because three days later, according to the scriptures, he rose again. And he's a living saviour today. And he's still making this offer of free righteousness to anybody who will believe and accept him as their Lord and as their saviour. Back in the same book, the book of Isaiah, and chapter 61, we read this. Chapter 61 and verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. I wonder if you will accept the free gift of righteousness through faith in Jesus Christ. Place your faith and your trust in him. Give him all your sin and take his righteousness as your own. Thank you for listening.